So this is a diagram that explains the rock cycle. The rock cycle is an easy concept in geology, but it is a very important concept as well. And the rock cycle describes the processes of each type of rock transforming into each other type of rock. It's important to note that any type of rock can change into any other type of rock if you're given the right environmental conditions. For example, if we have igneous rock, where we have the top there, and let's say that that's a granite, so that's Stone Mountain, and let's say that it wants to be turned into sedimentary rock. The processes that we would go through would be erosion, so we'd have some rain that would fall on Stone Mountain. Particles of it would be broken off to make the uh, rock into sediment. That sediment would be transported by a river and then deposited, as we see the diagram shows. And then after some time where we have some overbearing pressure, that sediment would be lithified into sedimentary rock. The same is true of a metamorphic rock changing to igneous rock. If we wanted to go through that example, then we would see metamorphic rock gets buried very deep underground, possibly in a subduction zone. It gets so hot that it actually melts back into magma. And then as it cools, it becomes igneous rock. If it cools on the interior of the Earth's surface, of the Earth, then it would be an intrusive rock. And if it makes it to the Earth's surface as liquid lava, then cools as an extrusive rock. So um, while this looks to be a complicated diagram, it's really not. It's just showing that every type of rock can become any other type of rock uh, given the right conditions.